got it all taped. Now I just have to pencil the back of it and draw it back on again. Okay, I have penciled everything. Okay, I've penciled everything. So now all I need to do is peel and see if it's going to come out correctly. Set my light over there. put the tape down a lot um, sturdier than with the B so or the jellyfish so let's see if this works
the masked piece of paper that I was using. All the tape's still on it. I secured it a lot better uh, this time than last time. Uh, you may have seen me taking the paint, the tape off. Uh, I wanted it to stay in the same spot much better than it did for the B. The lines on the B were a, bit a, a little bit wonky last time. Not too bad, but it's still pretty bad. And so I, I only taped it down like a thousand times. But this is the old drawing that I can now safely put away. This is how the penciling came out. It's actually a lot cleaner than I thought it was going to be. You may notice there are some spots, like right here, where it's a little smudged, but hopefully that won't be too much of an issue uh, when I am trying to get down to the nitty gritty of painting it. I'm going to jezzo it and then we're going to move on from there. I don't have a lot of time today, so I might only be able to jazzo a layer or two and then have to move on, but. Jazz is a bit thick, so I'm going to get water and try and water it down a little bit, and then we're going to try it again. I'm realizing as I mix this, this might have been a horrendous idea. I don't know if the Jezzo is ever even going to walk now that I'm doing this, but we're going to keep trying. Okay, the Jezzo is drying, and it dries pretty fast, and after that, I think I'm just going to leave it because, um... As mentioned earlier, I don't have a lot of time today to do something. Um, I just really wanted to get this far so that when I come back home after a walk for the following week or two, I can just focus solely on this thing. Um, and hopefully it dries clearer than when it laid on. I'm a little bored that it won't, but I think I'm just going to leave it at this. And when I start painting again, I will try and record as much of that as possible. Excuse my stuffed voice, but excuse you. She just tried to knit my bum. Um, but I changed the composition of the painting a little bit. So, initially I was going to have the gold like going out and like fading, but I tried testing that on this test canvas and it wasn't coming out really well. And then I thought I might as well continue the circle motifs, I'm going to try and fix that later, continue the circle motifs down and make a gold circle. And I, don't, I kind of want to add a smaller one like hidden in here and then an even smaller one like right down here. Don't know if I'm going to do that yet, but... It's possible, you know, actually, you know what, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to leave it for now, I'm going to leave it to dry, and then I'll come back to it. For now, some dopamine. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. I redid the circle lines on these moons, and I'm hoping I can just white out the purple when I make those circles again. I'm really, really hoping, I'm praying, I'm begging that I can do that. Uh, and then the snake, I think I, I did as best as I could to get the lines clean. This is definitely going to need a second coat, 
but I am out of the gold in my pa I have I have plenty of gold, but like I'm out of it right now, so I'm gonna have to do that when it dries. This is an oil-based gold, not an acrylic like this. Well, okay, actually, well, it's an acrylic latex, but that's not the point. Uh, the point is I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry before I can put on another coat. I think I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry before I even do the snake in the base of white. Why did I put all of the all of this detail on here? I'm not gonna be able to see any of that. I'm just gonna end up layering it by my gut instinct regardless. I don't know why I bothered with that. Um, but I'm gonna try and coat it all in white and then I mean I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry just because I put like I do like I brace my hand with my pinky or my knuckle and it's gonna get into the gold and it's gonna smear it. So I'm gonna leave it. What? Hey! I have to I I have to take a break from painting because this is the only gold paint I have. And it takes up most of the body of the snake. And if I smear it, it will be a nightmare to get that out. So I am now going to start reading this liminal horror. So I'm going to try cutting these. Um, as you can see, I did cut with scissors here, but... um. I let air in here, which was a mistake, so I don't know how viable these are gonna be, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. So I just need to line it up with the right line each time. You know what? I am gonna not do that. I'm gonna do this first. <laughs> so line it up with the right line each time. I do believe it's with this. So, do you believe if I just do this? Just my pile of discards over here. Now, I am doing these for my painting shelf. I'm doing these for the spring sale at the university. Same one I did my alumni show at. Uh, same one that... The same one that that butte's gonna be in. Now, uh, I got these kind of... I got these clear ones done. I got that done. Now, I have the fun challenge of doing these matte ones as well. Let me move the discard pile as actually the B looks fine um I have to, I get to debate if I want to cut this one smaller I feel like I could just leave them as I um because I feel like cutting them would be a pain in the butt to try and keep them all nice and straight so I think I'm just going to cut the stickers and I'm going to leave the prints as is on the 11 on the 11 and 8 by half because uh, at least that you can find frames for easily what the jellyfish would cut to I have no idea and frankly, the beetle, the beetle just looks a little weird with all that white space, but like, it's what you get, man. These are the ones that were giving my printer issues. But here's the thing, they were not giving my printer issues until it hit the beetle. It had to reprint these, like, I think I only printed five or six of these. It had to reprint these, like, two or three times because it would stop halfway through a beetle and then restart because it got, it got jammed. So, these are done. If I need more, if I want to make more, I'm probably just going to order them from somewhere instead of trying to do that again with my printer. Because, frankly, I don't have enough ink anyway to justify it. And, well, they came out well enough. I have so much photo paper now, though, because of this. So, I mean, maybe I'll just upgrade a printer next year. Who knows? But now I do these. Which you can see, I kind of smudged this, unfortunately. So, this one's just going to be mine. First things first, cut out the be actually, you know what? One, two, three of these.
now I get to have the fun time of figuring out how to store these until the actual sale. I should have tried printing them before. I wanted to test print them. Now I get the fun uh, time of trying to store these things until the sale, where hopefully I will sell some. And if not, then I mean, I mean, I guess I'll throw them up on Etsy or something somewhere. All right. Got all of these done. I've got these done. I've got those ready. Uh, and my pile of scrap. She is done. Did I forget to record myself actually doing all of the inking on it? Yes. Do I regret that? Yes. However, um, she looks good. Now, I had a lot of fun making her, I'm not gonna lie. It was a grand time. Um, it did take a while, and the primary reason that I didn't ink her is because I was doing that on my breaks when I walked from home, so I didn't do anything about it. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a nice shot of her.